Hey guys, Chris from Provo Beast Audio Installation, and in today's video, we're going to be unboxing and demoing this wireless CarPlay and wireless Android Auto doubled in car stereo. In this unboxing, we're going to get everything pulled out of the box, show you what it comes with, and get it hooked up to power so you can see the wirelessness in action. Let's get started. Before we jump into things, just one quick note. This was sent over by Max Peating Rods Company. And essentially here, this is listed um, about a medium price on Amazon, which we can link down in the description here for you. So let's go and dive into the box and show you everything that this comes with. So here in the box, we have a microfiber towel, panel trim removal tools, some various harnesses and it looks like a GPS antenna. Here on the left hand side, we have some universal bracket adapters. All right, so we got everything pulled apart here. We'll take a closer look at the unit before we boot it up here in just a moment. Uh, but some of the accessories that are included in that harness bag that we found within the box. Uh, you have dual USB harness that will connect to the back of the unit. You have your main outputs and inputs uh, for pre-outs in case you're adding an amplifier or have video in or out. Um, you have a backup camera harness as well. Um, panel tools like we mentioned before and your main harness. Harness actually kind of looks like an alpine type harness. It's not pinned the same, um, but similar to it. You have a GPS antenna that's gonna help with location accuracy when using wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. And again, you have your bracket adapters. Um, nice thing is they label all your wiring here so you know what function of the wire. Um, same thing with all your RCA outputs. You have front, rear, sub, center, and uh, also have an input and output RCAs as well and amplifier uh, trigger wire all built into this one harness here so again a closer look at the radio um, it has a really nice uh, kind of seamless design here in the front there's no hard buttons besides the volume knob here the volume knob does click uh, looks like it has a mic and a reset a uh, small pinhole there in the top in case you need to have access to those doesn't come with an external mic but it is pinned on the main harness so you can add an external mic as needed and then you have dual sets of usb and it does have an aux there on the front so we're going to flip this on over now you'll notice here that the chassis design has just only two options for mounting so it could be a little tricky mounting this in a universal dash kit so here in the back of our unit we have our main harness input where essentially our main harness adapter will plug into also comes on board with a 15 amp fuse now what surprised us we weren't expecting there's an hdmi input here so if you wanted to actually stream any sort of media it would display up on the radio itself we have an onboard fan here is where all your accessory harnesses that are included within the box will plug into and you have an AM FM Motorola antenna input there as well as your GPS antenna connection and that is it that's everything here on the back of the unit so at this point of time let's go ahead and get this thing hooked up to power and check out the user interface okay so let's go ahead and get this booted up for the first time here on the bench this is our home screen. It is customizable, uh, which is nice. And top left-hand corner, that volume knob does adjust the volume. Also, mutes it by clicking it and holding it down turns off the display. Swiping down gives you access to all quick apps and settings. Swipe back up to remove that window. Left-hand corner is our onboard navigation. Then we have our quick link to CarPlay, Bluetooth settings here, as well as all our additional apps here on our Android unit. Now let's go ahead and click on our settings. Now, because our unit is Wi-Fi enabled, once we set up our Wi-Fi, we can actually use our favorite apps like YouTube, Netflix, Google Search, Google Maps, and a host of other available apps through the Google Play Store. Now, still being a radio, it does have aux, Bluetooth, multiple USBs, radio, as well as a full built-in DSB to really tune the audio output to your liking, whether it's EQ, listening position output, or frequencies. Now, speaking of CarPlay and Android Auto, let's connect via USB here. It'll boot up, whether it's CarPlay or Android Auto, just the same. 
And like mentioned before, it's wireless enabled. We'll connect over Bluetooth. It'll authenticate the connection and we are connected via Wi-Fi. It is a little clunky. It's not super streamlined as the wired version, but it still works. There are additional settings here within our Android base units. You're welcome to check those out as well. So that's about it for this unit here. We got everything booted up and uh, gone through all the menus here. Like I said, big pros with this unit. First and foremost is wireless CarPlay and Android Auto. Also internet Wi-Fi accessible. So your favorite apps like Netflix and YouTube and such can be downloaded and or streamed here on this unit. Uh, in addition to the two front USBs, you also have two rear USBs. That's about it for this unboxing video. If you have any questions on this unit, go ahead and post a comment below. Also, if you want to pick one of these up yourself, we'll link it down in the description of the video. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to hit the like button if you like what you saw. And don't forget to subscribe. We post great content on the channel all the time. We will see you in the next video.